Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour, and thank you for listening. You just heard In the Nick of Time with Space Odyssey, and we started off with Falafel Boy. Hi, Mom. To our listeners out there, we rely on you. Community radio stations don't get money from the government, from commercial business ads, or grants from corporate foundations. Most of our funding comes from you, our listeners. Any amount, $5, $10, $100, $500, much would be appreciated if you can afford a $500 donation that really would be appreciated. So we encourage you to visit our website at valleyfreeradio.org slash donate. That's valleyfreeradio.org slash donate. And if you're listening to the show on another community radio station, please consider supporting your local station with a donation on their website. So let's go back to the music and talk about that. How about that? Just in the nick of time. In the nick of time, indeed. Husband and wife team, Nick and Tracy. They are from, well, they live in Northampton. Oh, um, okay. They do. They do. Um, and I know Nick. Um, they were high school sweethearts. Uh, and they so they've been performing for 20 years. And he, I don't know if he has um, a degree in childhood education or his mother, someone in the family does, but, you know, that's kind of been combined with the music. And so this music is sort of for family music, but, you know, also geared towards children. But it's like, it's it's really mature, cool stuff. And I love Outer Space, which is why I particularly chose space odyssey but it's you know they didn't have this kind of music when we were kids but when we got older we had they might be giants okay we did educational songs teaching us that science is real and fun okay but that, that's what the, this kind of reminded me of is, is the they might be giants and it, it, it's cool and yeah it's for kids but it, it, it's also for adults to listen to as well and it, Nick's uh, been recognized by the Television Academy, who awarded him the Mr. Rogers Memorial Scholarship. They've got uh, a top 10 song uh, back in 2011 with Dinosaur Song. The video received over a million views on YouTube. No, he, he's, a, he's a sweetheart and such a talented musician. So much personality. You can hear them, the music with the two of them. They have quite a repertoire and you should listen to any of it, especially if you enjoy this and who wouldn't enjoy this. We started off the block with Falafel Boy. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Ma- <laughs> out of Greenfield, Mass? Yes, out of Greenfield, Mass. Uh, apparently, I'm the president of the Falafel Boy fan club. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it says that right here, so it must be. it must be true. Uh, (laughs) falafel boy is basically you know it's mark mark and i for those of you out there mark and i are the same age we're we're generation x um as is falafel boy we all come from that world Uh, um you know that kind of uh slacker sort of land pop punk their influences you know, come from, I, I, I want you to talk about the influences because you, you love the, the oh, band. Their oh. influences are my influences. Zach, I was going to say you talk about the influences because this is. They are influenced by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Beastie yeah. Boys, The Clash, and Too Much Joy. No one has heard of Too Much Joy. Except for you and me, Marion. And them. And them. The Falafel Boys. Falafel Boy. No, they it's it's exactly you used to play them. No one knew them. Oh, all the time. Yeah, they were awesome. I only knew that because when I played Falafel Boy and you saw too much, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. Well, we all love Falafel Boy. It's a lot of fun. And this song especially is a lot of fun. And it has a really great video too. Oh, you the, the video reminds me of like Saturday Night Live when Adam Sandler and Chris Farley were on. <laughs> They just, they, you could tell they're just goofing off and having a great time. But Fraser Stowe, who I do know and have worked with, who is a drummer, is a fantastic drummer. And I, he is exceptionally talented. 
if you get a chance to play with him, certainly play with him. And he's the drummer for Dicey Riley. You've got to spend your St. Patrick's Day with Fraser and Dicey Riley, which has nothing to do with any of this. Except it's it's he, all local. It's, he was in Falafel Boy. It's all local. And that's what this is about. And this was off of the album Meet Meat. Meet Meat. 1994. Oh, they also, this is a cute thing. They they were touring around and they ended up at this at this falafel restaurant who served them falafel. And they loved it so much they named the band after it. Well, I mean, it's just <laughs> they think this is a very funny story that they're falafel boy. They went to the falafel restaurant. They were served falafel. That is such a Generation X like story. Yes. Yeah. We, we would think that's cool. <laughs> we do. <laughs> that's that's us. I wonder if they went down to Maymoon's down in uh, New Haven. I don't know. I will ask. Is that good falafel? Oh, absolutely. Everybody loves it down there. I've never had it. What's what's next? What happens now? Oh, this is where it gets exciting. We're going to start off with Mark Small, Walter Smith III, Emily Victoria, and Dominic Frontier. So let's go to Mark Small and Walter Smith III with Eight Bars. <laughs> 